Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Letting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So for today's reading, um, I have kind of a message. I'm not quite sure how it's going to unfold, but my guides kept being like, we keep giving you a message and you're not looking into it. And so I didn't know I was overlooking it, but for the past couple weeks, um, I've been given the song. Um, it's by Neil Sedaka and I think it's called Calendar Girl. Yeah, it's called Calendar Girl. And so almost every morning I wake up or anytime I'm in meditation, they'll, they'll come in and they'll be like, I love, I love, I love my calendar girl. And so I'd be like, okay, cool. Like anything else to share? And they'd be like, no, I'm like, okay, bye. And then I would go and I'd ignore it. And then I don't know, this song is following me and following me. And so, um, I looked into it one time, I actually went and read the lyrics, but nothing came out. And so I ignored it again. And so now it's been going on so long, the song's not going away. I realize I'm supposed to make a reading about it. So what is the song Calendar Girl even about? And so it just sounds like that there's somebody there watching the collective who really, really likes you that um, they've had their eye on you for quite a while. I would say at least a year because the, the song is all about them going through each month and like how you thrive or how special you were in that month. Like they've seen you through every stage, every season. And so because they've seen everything, um, they've been watching a long time, um, they like what they see. And so what are we? We're in January right now. And so what it says for January, um, you start the year off fine. So someone thinks that you're really, really fine. And then it goes, February, you're my little Valentine. March, I'm gonna march you down the aisle. April, you're the Easty, Easter bunny when you smile. What was I trying to say? Beastie boys or something. <laughs> But, um, and then it goes into each one and it's kind of like really puppy dog crush love. Like this is like butterflies and that kind of stuff coming up. So we'll leave that there if we need lyrical references, but let's just pull some cards on it because, um, I'd really like a different song to come through. <laughs> and I didn't realize, like I said, this has been this has been coming up for weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks. And I didn't actually realize there was a message tied to it. So we've got what are we what decks are we using? We're using the Lightworker Tarot and the Enchanted Map deck today. But the energy in the Enchanted Map is actually it feels really nice right now. Like it's very vibrant. Normally when you shake or shuffle a deck, um, sometimes you don't feel the electricity in the cards or the buzz, but this one, this one's wild. <laughs> That's because I've been ignoring the message for so long. So let's work our way backwards. So the very first card to come out was flying in reverse. The next one was rock bottom with balancing act upside down, followed by the bone collector and cleaning house. So as we said, this energy has been um, kind of watching you for a while. And so I don't know what you've been going through this past year, but with the flying in reverse, it kind of seems like something did come in and clip your wings this year. That this this season or this year cycle, um, you met your rock bottom. Which I always say that rock bottom is absolutely the best place to be. Because if you keep trying and trying and trying, um, right? Trying gives us hope and that's a good thing. But sometimes when you surrender that's where the real miracles come from because you see how tall this is like this is all the way down at the pit and if you can only get up here and you keep trying and you keep trying and you keep trying that energy will be wasted 
and you never got to the top. So rather than just always wasting your energy, sometimes just to go to the rock bottom and actually hit rock bottom is that wake up call that you need. And so I'm getting that that's what last year or the last couple years even have been for you. And someone sees that you were out there working on yourself, trying to heal. And so that's where the balancing act comes in. Um, they didn't want to kind of come in. Um, as we said, they've been there a really long time and they like what they see. They really wanted to come in with like an offer and things, but sometimes when the energy isn't balanced, when you're out there and there's still a energetic lesson that you're meant to learn, um, spirit holds it, holds them back because you don't want to have, let's say that this was the perfect relationship. It must, this opportunity must be something or else it wouldn't have come for so long to bring to the awareness. So I feel like this is, I'm getting puppy love, like this fun energy, but you weren't ready to embrace that into your um, energy because you've been focusing on the rock bottom and the how do I get out of there? That's survival mode. And so this person, um, as much as they wanted to come rushing in, you look over here, there's tons of hearts. She just wants to find that balance and ship let that ship come in and show you the love but if you can't accept it you can't receive you're so focused on that swimming um spirit held it off and and that's what that's what they've been doing it's just really watching you work your magic this year has been so huge for you so the bone collector um she's like the magician the shaman of the deck so let me just tap into the message. So the one that came out was the rabbit. Out of all these things that we looked at, it's the rabbit and then the number 12. And so when I thought of 12, um, you take one plus two, right? Break it apart and now becomes three. When I think of three, three is about, so I saw the rabbit and it showed me fear. It's you being scared to go out um, because if you are in this lower vibration, Sometimes you've got thought patterns and things that inner demons that you're working through. And that's what the rabbit is kind of showing me is that this, this year, this cycle has really been about you cleaning up house. Well, the house being your temple, your body, your mind, how can you go out there and, um, not let the fears control you? How do you clean up all that old baggage and, and let something new come in? So the bone collector with the 12, it went from one, that's you being individual, um, two would have been partnership, and three together, one plus two equals three, three is like coming together in creation. So coming together and creating with another because I'm seeing the process take a little bit longer than you wanted. Maybe it even was like a little bit longer than this, this energy that's watching you. But again, as it said at the beginning, they watched you through a whole year of cycle. They know, right? In the winter, that's when the sun goes into the darkness. And that's when we, we battle our, our darkness. And, and that didn't scare them. And they've already seen you come out and work through every season. They've seen you have a goal and how focused you were on their goal, I'm hearing, and how how much actually you, it went to the rock bottom card. But again, I think this is actually more than a year cycle that they've been watching you. And so they saw you go with your goals and they're like, okay, how far is this gonna go? And they saw you try and and succeed, I'm hearing. So one year, one cycle, you were kind of all in this, and then they saw you pick yourself up and try. And that you picking yourself up by dusting yourself off and not letting the fears consume you is actually what was the most beautiful thing that they look at you and, and admiration is that you didn't sit at the rock bottom and let it claim you right? You, you didn't stop, you didn't give up, but you did learn to surrender. You did say, you know, something's a little bit off, something's not balanced here. And so how can I find that? Because 
like what's going on here there is this like crystal clear marble and she's the one holding it so really it is you and she's holding it almost looks like she's trying to cover herself but what i saw was more the heart um she like if she wants she could lift this string up a little bit and it could be at a slant and it could go that way like she controls where on this string and the distance of how close and how far it is to her but when i did zoom in her face is a little bit um not trusting so that's why I think it's very balanced and why this is still a bit far. There is this like love, I don't know. And so you, I'm getting that you, you also are getting this song download. Maybe not this song per se, but there's this like love vibe that like comes around you and you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you know, okay, we got to go do this or something because Things weren't flying for you. And you were like, I can't stay there. I need to learn to change this. You went into that rock bottom and you flew yourself out of it by cleaning up your mind, finding the balance and letting the cobwebs, like, I feel like cobwebs are so significant in the readings lately. In one of the cob um, readings, it was like, in, um, you control how close or how far they come to you, right? Silk is so strong, but the thing with a spider web is they can build them so fast. So you can clean it up and you can create a new web and, and it will do its job. I'd like to reflect on that a little bit longer, but um, that might be another reading. But what I am being drawn to is whatever is up here in this corner. So cleaning house, she's sitting there She's like this little jester type thing, but she's got like broom legs. The cat keeps standing out and okay, I'm not being drawn up here anymore. I was when it was talking about cobwebs and maybe that's just why it kind of looked like cobwebs. We're going to let that go. But what I'm being drawn now is um, the little tiny door here and her feet and her sweeping. Um, I'm being told um, if you can avoid wearing your shoes from outside around in your house, um, that will help you from taking on all those dense energies from outside and bringing them in your house for you to have to work through energetically as a feel. Um, there is an importance to, you know, sweep and keep moving the energy, but the main thing that they want to say is they really want to keep the garbage outside the energetic garbage, we don't want you to bring it into your house so that you later need to learn to clean it up in your mind, clean it up in your heart, right? There's the physical, there's the emotional, there's the mental, and these are all energetic fields outside of us. And as we go around and walk and talk to people and, and go to these places where people don't feel good, we pick up their energy and it stays in our field. Now we gotta remove that. So put yourself in your energetic protection. That's just putting yourself in your column of light and staying in your heart, right? Bringing everything from above, anchoring it into the heart, and then from your heart, anchoring it to the earth, and then bringing that back up to the heart. We want to stay in the heart, in our column. And then again, um, I know like more so in the States, they always wear their shoes inside. I used to live with American and we'd be like, take off your shoes. It's not just because like mud going through or like footprints, but it is, think about it, and like heavy, dense things float to the ground. So if you're like on the city streets and things like that, you're walking and your feet kind of pick up that. You don't want to bring that negative cloud to your house. So if you do, take off your shoes and put on maybe some slippers or inside shoes. Like that's all they want to say is to take off your shoes at the door. And that'll just be an easy way to release energy that you don't have to clean. Because energetic cleanliness isn't the same as seeing the dirt and germs, right? We can't see bacteria and things, but there's also an energy that we need to clean up as well. So 
I said go back to the bone collector. <laughs> um something to do. Okay, so when I went to the bone collector, and so there she is just sitting in her joy. She's not worried. She's she's got like all the things right? She's got all the tools and in this circle she's protected because in this circle is almost as if um, you put the column of light around you. But you know she's got her feathers and the numerology and spirit animals and ruins or whatever she does, right? Um, she knows how, how to tap into the song of the universe. So that's why she sits there peacefully. But why I laughed was as I went there and I was like looking at her, I heard the words bone daddy. And then um, Nightmare Before Christmas came into my mind. And I don't know how like Jack Skeleton, I don't know, he came in like playing a trumpet. Maybe he's the one serenading the songs. And I don't know, but I feel like this is what you work your way up to. Cause this is the shaman, whereas the other one was just a flying fancy whatever and it its wings got clipped and it was like Woo, crash and so all of this cleaning out the mind finding the balance from the rock bottom was for you to tap into like your shamanism um divine qualities of you because you really are connected to the spirit world above and below and so you become the bone collector you are that healing, I don't know whatever you really want to resonate with, either you're a healer, you could be a shaman, medium, right? And, and what I want to say is don't put yourself in a box. You're, you can be many of those things, but the bone collector and something bone daddy, I'm just seeing almost Again, it's going back to like the darkness or the underground underworld type message. And they just loved you at what you think is your evil or your bitch phase or your villain era. Um, and they love you in your strong independence, kind hearted, nurturing, like, yeah. The parts of you that you don't like, that you dub as dark and those kind of things, it's almost like they see it and it matches theirs. And there's something very beautiful in that where you guys can help each other heal too. Yeah. So I did pull out one more because there was the Lightworkers Oracle. And we mostly only used the um, Enchanted Map. So we pulled out one and this is the one that came out. And it is the Ever Unfolding Rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you so <laughs> with this they're going back to um the song so here she is wide open it said cracked open and in the petals right here's one two and and that's what that calendar year kind of was they'll say use this as it this is the wheel, right? There's 12 of them. 12, where's the 12 that I was drawn to? Right there, 12. Um, 12, 12 months. And so each one was you coming back to yourself, back to this, back to your power in nature and, and unfolding. And so each cycle, each one, like I said, they saw you in all seasons and like, so they'll see you like, bundled up in the winter and all your like winter gear and they're like oh cute as a button or you know handsome you know fit the energies wherever it goes but um and then the summer like i don't know just everything they just each season each each month has its holiday or special thing to it and they're like i don't know i just see someone wanting to share those moments with you and and, th and that's it is because they've looked at the calendar. They see themselves fitting in, right? They want to go to the 4th of July. I don't know why American type stuff's popping up. But yeah, they want to go to 4th of July um, barbecue and do those type of things. They feel like you fit into their circle and would get along with their friends and family, I hear. And, 
and yeah they like how far you've grown as much as they do like that um saucy assertiveness of you they like they like you more in the soft rose energy let's say if you're feminine right you be more in the feminine energy they like how how you healed yourself how how smart you are how um nurturing and the healing mostly um you you didn't you didn't let it you didn't play victim is what i hear it said it's happening for you not to you so you did hit a rock bottom you did have all these bad things and and i'm hearing you look so damn graceful <laughs> falling from the sky that yes this this horse wasn't flying anymore but nobody ever knew it was like you know like a plane crash and everyone's like oh my gosh and it's like just and then it perfectly lands that on the water that's like what i'm seeing so you're like <laughs> like parkour <laughs> like <laughs> I, I stuck the landing so is there anything else they say go to the lyrics and then we'll read something and then we'll wind it up i mean december you're the present near my christmas tree november i give thanks that you belong to me so I'm, I'm feeling like these last two months, right? There were so many things I could have looked at, but it seems like these last two months have been really in the energy. And I'm, I'm telling you, like this song has really been bothering me. I, I didn't realize it was a collective reading because when I looked into it, I didn't get any more insights or anything, but this song has been following me. And so I think, I think if you've been so focused on your healing journey, that's what they're saying. You've been so focused on your healing journey and on becoming the bone collector, shaman, magical, whatever that you are, that um, as you were opening, um, pay, not being as aware of your surroundings around you, you're very much in your world. And so there were people outside of you watching you because this isn't like a creepy stalker energy or else I wouldn't read this energy, right? I'd be like, no spirit, like creepy stalkers be gone. Um, but this is just one that has seen you probably when all holiday times and things were outgoing and maybe, I don't know what you were doing, but they say they saw you and, and that's, that's when the energy really picked up. So maybe it's someone from the past that saw you. Nope. They saw you the whole time they say. So they just don't want you to be, um, spirit showing that you just have a little residual guilt or shame or something that just makes you still have this stern face energy it's like a disbelief or trust right something did clip your wings and you really did learn how to control this line and so i do feel like love this ship is coming in for you and you're the one that can bring it to you but you're the one that's like at an arm's distance so when you're ready um all you really gotta do is stop controlling that rope and just rest. <laughs> and that's when you're gonna come on in. So we'll leave it there. Have a good day and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.